Okay, we'll often hear from vegans how Tom Brady is on a plant-based diet and you know, utilize him as a, a football player who's had tremendous success, perhaps the most successful uh, football player of all time, certainly at the quarterback position. And you know, you hear that he eats uh, you know, a lot of plants and therefore he's on a plant-based diet. Well, if we actually do the numbers based upon what he said, and he's clearly stated, and this is a statement from him, I'm not on a vegan diet, I'm not on a vegetarian diet, he eats about 20% of his, his calories, or 20% rather, of his meals are coming from fish, meat, chicken, and eggs, okay? 20%, all right? Let's say, well, that means 80% of it's coming from plants, and therefore, he's on a plant-based diet. Well, not so fast. Let's do a little bit of math here, okay? And this is a graphical depiction of what the average American eats, okay? You see this, and what it shows is about the average American's eating around a in a year, about 2,000 pounds of food. And what does that food consist of? Well, when we look at the, we look at the things, we see 600 pounds of it's coming from dairy products. Tom Dairy doesn't eat dairy products. The, you know, the vast majority of the rest of it is coming from uh, sugars, added oils, fruits and vegetables and grains. And then we have a smaller amount coming from meat and fish and eggs and chicken. Okay, and so we look at those numbers, we plug in those numbers, uh, we come up with a, uh, an amount we divide that by the total number of pounds of food we eat per year, and we have a percentage which is, guess what? Much, much smaller than Tom Brady's 20% of his diet. So in fact, he's eating more eggs, more fish, more chicken, and more meat than the average American in total. And he's eating, just, the difference is he's not eating all the junk food. He's not eating all the garbage. And so you can say, Tom Brady's eating more meat than the average person, but he's not eating junk food, and that may contribute to his longevity. Uh, so it's not that he's on a plant-based diet, like they'll, like they'll tell you. In fact, the average American is on a, if you want to use that definition, the average American is on a plant-based diet because we eat, again, the vast majority of our calories, again, if you look at these charts, are coming from plant material. Now, a lot of it's junk and garbage, you know, uh, refined grains, sugars, uh, seed oils, on and on and on. But to say that meat is a problem or that Tom Brady's not eating much meat, he's actually eating more meat than the average American. And so I would suggest you up your meat consumption and decrease your junk food consumption. That is going to help you significantly. It's going to get you better, higher quality protein. It's going to get you probably better satiation. Therefore, you're not always snacking and want to eat all this crap food. So this is the thing to remember. Remember, the less meat you eat, the more you want to snack, the more you want to snack, the more these idiots that are selling you cheap refined crap are going to make money and that's why we have this push stop eating meat stop eating meat it's bad for your planet bad for the planet it's bad for the animal it's going to give you cancer all this bullshit nonsense that's out there it's based on ridiculously poor science very weak associations ridiculous mechanical uh, mechanistic associations on and on and on there's another study that came out uh, Ron, some people sent me Ron and Patrick talking about mitochondrial RNA I'll talk about that in a later video all right, guys, have a great day. Knock out some push-ups. Eat a steak. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.